Hello and welcome to F1 Livery Histories, the channel where we take a look back at the different paint jobs, racing trims and sponsor decals adopted by respective Formula 1 teams throughout the eras. Today we'll be taking a cursory glance at one of a number of smaller teams to enter the sport in the late 1980s, at the beginning of the atmospheric era. A team which battled significant odds, and brought to the grid a unique collection of colours and sponsors. Onyx Grand Prix The story of the Onyx Grand Prix team begins in 1978, upon the foundation of the Onyx Race Engineering Company. The venture was headed by Mark Earl and Greg Field, and began its racing enterprise in 1980, fielding customer March chassis in Formula 2. Onyx would eventually become established as the semi-official March works team as the decade transpired, culminating in Formula 3000 championship success with Stefano Modena in 1987. This triumph would prove to be the springboard from which Onyx would launch into motorsport's top tier, and the team would garner the necessary financial requirements from British businessman Paul Shakespeare, along with eccentric Belgian millionaire Jean-Pierre Van Rossum, owner of the mysterious Moneytron company. The team would also relocate from its original base in Littlehampton to its new factory headquarters in Fontwell, beginning preparations for an assault on Formula One in season 1989. So begins our retrospective on the fluctuating fortunes of Onyx Grand Prix. Onyx arrived in 1989 with the Alan Jenkins designed ORE1 chassis, which came fitted with Ford Power and Goodyear tyres, with Mobil fulfilling the role of fuel supplier. The car was piloted by Stefan Johansson, Bertrand Gachot and JJ Leto throughout the year, with Johansson registering the team's first points by finishing in fifth in France, before going on to record a surprise podium finish at the Portuguese Grand Prix, crossing the line with an empty fuel tank. The team would employ a blue, white and pink ensemble, which showcased extensive Moneytron sponsorship. Moneytron was said to have been a computer system designed to predict stock market activity, and the name of the investment company would appear on the car's wing, engine case and nose section. Onyx would also receive backing from cigarette brand Marlboro, which appeared on the engine case, alongside smaller sponsors such as Kappa Automotive, Petit Lou, Neste and Nokia. Despite some promising signs emerging from its respectable debut season, internal rifts would set Onyx on a rocky course heading into 1990. Financial disputes between the team's founders and Moneytron boss Jean-Pierre Van Rossum would see Earl and Field leaving the team. Shortly thereafter, Alan Jenkins took charge of the team. However, Van Rossum would suddenly withdraw his Moneytron sponsorship in the lead-up to the following season. At this point, the team was purchased by Swiss investors Peter Monteverdi, Carl Foytek and Brunner Frey. This would result in Onyx running with a revised colour scheme for 1990, as the updated ORE 1B chassis came with a similar livery that switched its pink trim for bright green. The team's majority shareholder chose to market the Monteverdi Auto Museum on the car, filling the void left by Moneytron. The team would eventually race officially as Monteverdi Onyx Formula 1 as the season unfolded. Sadly though, Onyx would collapse under its own financial weight, and exited the sport midway through only its second season putting an end to a team capable of that occasional flash of brilliance, 